Hey guys, so uh, we are sitting on my couch today, which can only mean one thing. It is time to unbox my summer Stitch Fix box. It has been a hot minute since I have done a Stitch Fix unboxing, mostly because I was trying not to spend more money than I needed to in the last couple of months. I also got sick a bunch at the beginning of this year, which kind of like totally threw me off my entire schedule for a while, but uh, we are back in the swing of things and I am really excited to show you guys what my stylist picked out for me this season. Now I'm sure a lot of you guys who are clicking on this video uh, know the deal with Stitch Fix already, but if you're relatively new to it, I have filmed a whole bunch of unboxings in the past, so I will link that playlist for you guys up here in the cards in case you'd like to check it out and I'll also uh, put it in the description box as well. Uh, but basically Stitch Fix is a personalized styling service. So you get assigned your own personal stylist that looks over your profile, your preferences. You can link a Pinterest board to show them examples of clothing you like. And then they send you a box of five clothing and accessories items and you basically get to try it all on in the comfort of your own home and decide what you want to purchase and what you don't and anything that you don't want to keep they give you a prepaid mailing envelope you just stick it back in there bring it to the post office and you're good the whole thing only costs twenty dollars each time you have a fix styled but if you choose to keep at least one item they apply that styling fee towards the item that you keep so essentially it can cost you nothing as long as you actually buy an article of clothing and one of the things that I was able to do within the last year was get their style pass, which is like an annual subscription where you just pay one fee once of $49 and you can style as many fixes as you want with no styling fee. I haven't obviously been taking uh, as much advantage of that recently, but I'm pretty sure I still have it for a few more months, so maybe I'll try to get more mileage out of it for the rest of 2019. Anyway, so it is summer. It is my favorite season of the entire year. I love summer fashion. I love dresses. I love lightweight, flowy things. So I am particularly excited to show you the clothing that I got in this fix because it is right up my alley. And yeah, without me making this intro uh, any longer, Let's get into the clothes. Let's talk about the very first thing in my fix this season. It is a top from the brand Paper Moon, and I actually have received several pieces from this brand in Stitch Fix in the past, and I've really liked them a lot. So this is kind of a tank style blouse with a floral print detailing on it, and uh, let's be serious. If you watch my videos, this is about as me as a floral print can get. It's pink. It's got roses on it, it's super pretty. We always gotta check the care instructions cause homegirl does not have time for dry clean only things. And this says it's 100% polyester and I can machine wash it cold. Probably I would do it on gentle cycle. So that is good with me, nothing uh, disqualifying with this shirt. And uh, the price on this guy is $38, which I think is actually really reasonable for a clothing item from Stitch Fix. I have found in general, the clothing items you're getting are a little bit higher end, they tend to be a little bit more expensive so if you're used to shopping at like Target odds are that the things you're gonna get in your stitch fix might be a little bit more expensive than that but this does seem like a really nice quality fabric it's very sheer definitely a really nice summer piece because it's very flowy it's gonna breathe you're not gonna get too hot wearing this the only downside I would see is that you have to wear this with a skin color like bra because otherwise it's going to show through it is definitely the kind of fabric like holding this up to the light I can see through to the other side. So any kind of bra with a color that's not your natural skin color, you're gonna see it. As far as the fit goes on this, I think this fits me nicely. It is definitely, again, a very flowy fit. You could wear it untucked just for that very flowy appearance, wear it with jeans, wear it with shorts, or if you wanted, you could like tuck it in to give it a little bit more of like a clean cut kind of appearance. This would also probably look nice like tucked into a um, like tight fitted pencil skirt or something like that. So this is definitely something that is my style and I could see myself wearing in the future. I do have a lot of tops that are similar to this in cut with the kind of tank like style. It is kind of annoying that you can't wear a bra with straps with this. You have to wear something strapless because otherwise they show. But this is definitely a contender of something I would keep. The second thing in my box, actually you guys also saw me wearing in those previous clips with the shirt, and that is this pair of denim shorts. So these are from the brand Saints Blue or STS Blue. They are the boyfriend short with a nine inch 
mid-rise inseam. They have a little bit of like a distressed detailing on them, which I actually really enjoy. I, I like distressed denim, and this is not like overly distressed. It also has kind of a uh, frayed hemline on the bottom. And as soon as I put these shorts on, I immediately fell in love with them. They are so comfortable and I feel like they fit me perfectly. I actually don't own a lot of shorts. I really honestly maybe have like three pairs and maybe only two that are denim. And I will admit they are a little on the short side, so I feel like they're not always appropriate to wear everywhere. And I really like that these are a little bit longer in the leg. I feel like they're just a little less uh, revealing, which now that I'm in my 30s, I'm, I'm kind of more about that life. So I think these are perfect. I also love the whole mid-rise length because I feel like I'm not gonna be falling out of these. I, I can't deal with the low-rise jeans anymore that I used to wear when I was like 16, 17. I I just don't like my butt hanging out of my jeans and I feel like these are nice and secure and everything is gonna stay where it needs to stay. And the price on these is also really good. They are $39 and that is awesome because let me tell you, I have gotten a lot of pants through Stitch Fix and a lot of them have been like over $80, which is way more than I normally spend on any kind of bottom. So to have something under the $40 price point makes me super happy. I will 100% be keeping these and I probably honestly I'm gonna go and wear them tomorrow. Then next I've got another top and this one is again on the dressier side. I might not necessarily pair this with the shorts. I was just being kind of super lazy and didn't want to change yet again. But this is a tie front blouse in a nice like dark kind of forest green color. It's by the brand West Key and uh, this is described as the Juliana cuffed sleeve tie front blouse and uh, it retails for $44. Now I actually do own a top similar to this in style that I got from Express a couple of months ago. It's solid black but the fabric is different. This has a kind of interesting kind of texture detail to it. It's a very thin material. It's not stretchy. It almost has like a crepey feel to it. Uh, the Express one that I have is like a cotton polyester blend that's smooth and, and very stretchy. So I definitely feel like this fits me nicely. I like the kind of boat style neckline. I like the cuff detailing here on the sleeves. I think that the color is really unique. I definitely don't have anything in my collection right now that's this particular shade. The only thing I don't love about this is how long the straps uh, sit when it's tied just in a knot because I'm, I'm pretty thin so I feel like you know I have to tie this at a certain length so that it looks correct around my waist and then these little straps are kind of hanging down towards the crotch area in a way that I feel like I don't know looks a little unflattering let me know if you guys agree or what you think of that I just feel like the lines that it creates overall for your eye are less appealing I kind of wish that the ties ended basically just at the same length as the top or just maybe slightly below it. And I'm pretty sure that is how my express shirt is. I don't think the straps are super long, so maybe that's also what's throwing me off. But again, $44 for a dressy top. I don't think it's a bad price. The material on this does seem nice. Let's uh, do the check for the care instructions. And this guy does say machine wash cold gentle cycle. So again, something I don't have to worry about dry cleaning, which I'm happy about. So I would say this is something I feel like on the fence about. I think it's the kind of thing that would be a nice work shirt. It's something that's very business casual appropriate. You could dress it up or you could dress it down. But for whatever reason, it's not like completely suckering me in and making me feel like, oh my God, I absolutely love this and I want to wear it all the time. And I've been trying to be a little bit more mindful about that with my fashion purchases, especially. I have a lot of clothes. I don't need a lot of new things. So anything that I buy, I want to really, really love it. So I'm gonna consider this guy a maybe. I need to think about it a little bit more and decide whether or not it's something I feel like I'm gonna get enough use out of. Then next, I have a kimono, which I don't think I actually own anything like this right now. Maybe once a long, long time ago, I had a kimono, but I decluttered it from my closet because I just didn't really find myself wearing it very often, which does not bode well for this guy, but I will say it is very, very pretty. It's a super sheer fabric with a floral pattern. 
you have these nice uh, lacy kind of crochet details on the sleeves. They come right to like the elbow length, which I think is really nice. This would definitely be a perfect summery layer to throw on over a dress or over an outfit, especially in the evenings when it's still kind of hot, but just like a little bit cooler, the sun's gone down and you want maybe just like a little something to throw on. I think this would be perfect for that. Or even like if you're at the beach, it's kind of like a little cover up to throw on over your bathing suit, something like that. Like. I definitely appreciate uh, the versatility of a product like this. So this is from the brand Mason & Bell. It's described as the Laria Crochet Trim Kimono, and it is $42, which is a little pricey, but not honestly not bad. Again, for Stitch Fix, once you've seen how expensive the clothing can get, anything in the $40-ish price point, not so bad. So I just threw this guy on over the green top and the shorts that I was wearing before so you can see kind of how it fits on me. Obviously with it being a kimono it's very very loose flowy that's kind of how it's supposed to fit. Um, so I, I think it fits me fine. Again it really would just come down to uh, how likely I would be to wear something like this. And I do think that nowadays with my existing wardrobe, I probably would find myself throwing this on over a tank or cami or something like that. Like I do think I have things in my closet that would go with this color palette. It's very soft. It's kind of an off-white with pink and purple um, flowers on it. So again, my gut reaction to this guy is that I like it, but I'm not absolutely in love with it. I think it's the kind of thing that I could find use for, but I don't feel particularly excited by so I'm gonna have to kind of think about this one a little bit more and whether or not it makes sense for me to actually purchase it and then the final item that's in my box is a home run I am so in love with this piece it is so comfortable and it is so cute and I'm sure I will get a ton of use out of this uh, so this is a maxi dress and it's this really nice like ridiculously soft and super stretchy material. It's got a really cute floral print on it. Again, like right up my alley. And this guy also kind of has that same kind of neckline as the um, tank top. It has a little keyhole cutout with a button detailing in the back. And then it kind of has a cinched waist. It goes all the way to the floor, but it's not too long to the point where I would be tripping over it if I was wearing flats but it also would be nice to be worn with heels. And this to me is just the kind of dress that I know I would get a ton of use out of because I could wear this on the weekend for every day. It's super comfy, so I would lounge around in it, but it's also dressy enough that like I could see myself wearing this to a wedding, wearing this to a shower, wearing it to a special occasion. It's just like a very versatile dress that I think I would find myself wanting to reach for again and again. And actually I got a maxi dress from Stitch Fix a few years ago and I still love it. And I wear it every summer so much. So it would be nice to have something uh, to give that one a break from, like another alternative so I'm not just wearing that one maxi dress all of the time. And perhaps the reason that the uh, neckline on this is so similar to the tank top is that this dress is also from Paper Moon. This is the Daniela Knit Maxi Dress uh, and it retails for $54, which is the most expensive thing that I was sent in this fix, but I feel like $54 for a dress really isn't bad. So yeah, this is something I'm definitely keeping. I love the way that it fits. I think it's super comfortable. I love the pattern. Basically everything about it is like spot on for me. So here is where I have some decisions to make, and this is always the tricky thing for me with Stitch Fix. So if you keep all five items in your box, you get a 25% discount on everything. So the total value of my box is $217. And if I was to buy all five, I would get a discount of $54.25. So this is where I have to ask myself, is it worth it to keep everything or do I just keep a couple of things? I know I definitely wanna keep this dress and I know that I definitely wanna keep the shorts. So if I was to buy just these two items alone, that would be $93. But that also means that to get the other two tops and the kimono would be $69.75 more, which is money for sure, but not like a ton more money to get three more pieces. And especially because it's not like I disliked any of these or I felt like anything fit me really weird or I was super unhappy with it. 
It's kind of like, is it worth it to spend the extra 70 bucks to get all of this stuff? Or do I just cut my losses and just get the couple of things that I really, really like and get them at the full price? So I would love to hear your opinion. What do you think of my fix? Do you like these pieces? What would you have kept if this was your box? Are we on the same page about what your favorite items were? I'm always curious to hear your thoughts because I know so many of us, we have different styles, tastes, preferences. The things that I like might be like totally off base for you. So I just, I love hearing from you guys and knowing what you think. And if you want to get your own Stitch Fix box, I will put a link to sign up in the description box of this video. It's a referral link, but it's not like an affiliate link. Stitch Fix doesn't really know who I am. It's the same referral link that anyone gets when you sign up for the service. And uh, when you use it, you get $25 off of your first fix and I get $25 off of my next fix. So the way I see it, if you're gonna sign up anyway, you definitely should go ahead and use someone's referral link because why not get $25 free dollars, am I right? So yeah, I'm not 100% decided of what I wanna do yet. I'm having lunch with my mom today so I think I might ask her what she thinks of the three pieces that I'm undecided about and whether or not she thinks I should buy them or if I should just save my money. But overall, I would say I think my stylist did a pretty decent job picking out things for me this season. Everything was definitely very summer appropriate. I feel like the colors and the textures were very me. Honestly, I'm just super picky because I have a pretty big wardrobe and I don't want to be buying clothes unnecessarily if I really don't think I'm gonna get a lot of use out of them. So uh, I think that's it for me today. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me while I unbox and try on my Stitch Fix. If you guys like these videos, make sure to give it a thumbs up. I always really appreciate your support so, so much. And uh, if you wanna see more videos from me in the future, make sure that you click the subscribe button. That way my uh, face will show up in your subscription feed the next time you're hanging out on YouTube. On that note, I am starving right now. I desperately need to go eat lunch, so I'm about to go call my mom and get on that. But I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.